Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, your source for Bronco news and Bronco sport news, as well as wa full walk-around videos. And we do walk-around videos in all of our other Ford vehicles as well. Typically, we would have the vehicle so we can go over all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment that's available. We call them our complete guides. Uh, so if you like uh, different videos like that with uh, product information, you might like subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to our channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video upload to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to continue with our series. We actually are working our way through the Bronco Sport at this time. We've already completed uh, the different videos going over all the standard equipment as well as options for the Bronco two-door and four-door. Now we're moving on to the Bronco Sport. We're talking about the Outer Banks trim this time or model is what Ford likes to call it. Uh, and so we're going to cover all the standard equipment first. We'll talk about some different options you can have here, including the Outer Banks package uh, and some other uh, optional features that we've seen in some of the other trims so far. Uh, but Outer Banks is where you kind of step it up for some of the little more lu luxurious um, offerings like the leather seats, body color door handles, and some of those things. We'll cover all that in just a little bit. But I wanted to let you know that at this present time, Bronco Sport, unlike the Bronco 2 door and 4 door, you do your reservation online. Uh, just like the Bronco two-door and four-door, but at this point you're going to be able to switch your reservation over to a an order status where you can go ahead and order that almost immediately on there on the website. So you will order it yourself instead of having the dealership order it, a little bit different than the traditional way that you've had to order other vehicles. Uh, so this is pretty new for a lot of customers and for a lot of dealers as well. So some dealers are not all signed up to do this and take reservations. So I keep that in mind. So you want to go online and see if your dealership has that reservation. Uh, they will have a, a dedicated URL just for their dealership. So they have to have be signed up with this with Ford Pay. And if they didn't do this and have this set up uh, before the launch of the Bronco, it's going to be too late for those dealers until the 2022 model year. So uh, find a dealership that does it. We are uh, certified here to be able to take those reservations. We do have a dedicated URL and a link, and you can get to that from our website. Go to lawmacarthur.com. Click on that new inventory. We are going to create a Bronco Sport page, but until then, you can go to the 2021 Bronco page. Click on that, and you're going to see the Bronco and Bronco Sport links there. If you want to reserve a Bronco Sport, click on that link, and it takes you right over to the reservation page for Ford and puts Law MacArthur in as your dealership to be uh, for that vehicle to be delivered to. And we are doing free shipping. I'm going to give you some more information about free shipping at the end of the video as well. If you want to at any time learn more about our free shipping, I'll have that linked in the description down below if you're watching this on a, a, a desktop computer. If you're on a mobile phone, you'll want to go to the timestamp that is listed down in the description. So uh, this will be a very thorough video. I'm going to tell you right, right ahead. I, I get a little wordy and I want to make sure I cover everything. Uh, so I will have timestamps for the different sections between safety, mechanical, exterior, interior options, all that's, those timestamps are down below so you can move around in this video. Feel free to do that. This is for your information and your education to help you out if you're wanting to get a Bronco Sport and maybe think that the Outer Banks is going to be the one that you want. Hopefully this video helps you out and gives you that information. So right now, because there, you can not only reserve but also order the Bronco Sport, you're going to be able to find that on Ford's website. The configure is already up. The build and price is there. So you can see all the prices and everything. Uh, so we're going to actually run through it. I have the laptop here uh, so we can be able to see some of these things. So to get to that, you're going to go to Ford.com. You're going to click on Vehicles. And then when you go there, you're going to automatically come up with SUVs. You click on the 2021 Bronco Sport, and then you're going to be able to pull that up and be able to, to uh, configure yours. Now, at this point, uh, you want to, on that page, uh, you can reserve from this page as well. Hit the reserve now. Uh, you would actually then want to put in your zip code, find your dealer. Uh, if you want to do it that way, uh, make sure you put in 67401 for our dealership. We're the only dealer here in this zip code, for dealer anyway, uh, so that way you can get us uh, put in there. But on this blue bar up here, you can see get updates, build and price, and compare models. So click on the build and price. It'll pull up all the different uh, models in here. As you can see, it has your base, your Big Ben, your Outer Banks, your Badlands. If you scroll over, then you get to the first edition down there. Now scroll down just a little bit. You're going to see, and we're going to go over all this. There's a view details on the Outer Banks right there. If you click on that, it's going to actually show you all the information we're going to talk about here. I actually sort mine a little bit differently than what Ford does because I like to put all the safety together. 
Um, there's some things that they uh, consider exterior and interior features that are part of safety. Uh, I'll always include those into all my safety features and then so I do things a little bit differently. I've been doing these walk arounds for about five years now, uh, four to five years and so I kind of have a process that I do. Uh, very thorough and so you can see we're going to go over there's exterior features uh, you can see down in there as we scroll through some of those you can see there are some safety features in there that i feel like are that would be more into the safety uh, they don't have a safety in here they kind of put them all into those different parts so i see some safety features in under the interior features so that's how that's going to be done if you hit that x close out of that then if you go into the start your build which is the important part here, click on that and you can start that. So all the standard equipment we're gonna talk about would be under that view details, uh, all the options uh, and what the vehicle is gonna look like would be under the start your build because uh, there they will not go over the standard equipment. Uh, they're gonna cover just the different options you're gonna choose. So uh, we are over here so you can see, you're gonna see uh, there first, let's go ahead and cover some of the colors that are available. Uh, you can see there's uh, four images there for you to flip through for the exterior. So you can see four different angles there maybe five, five different angles. So you can see how that's gonna look on your Bronco when you change the different colors. All the same colors as the Big Ben, so we do have those. So go ahead and click through those. You can see uh, what those look like. So shadow black, uh, so it looks pretty sharp. You're gonna have that color. Uh, you're gonna also have Area 51, uh, which I really love that color. It's a nice uh, gray, grayish blue color. Then you're gonna have your Alto Blue, uh, that one costs a little extra. It's $3.95 for that color uh, because it is a, um, a clear coat and it's uh, tinted. Uh, so it ha has a couple coats there and that's why it costs a little extra. And then you have Kodiak Brown, which is actually a color that we've seen in some of the Ford vehicles in the past. Uh, so they're bringing that back for the Bronco Sport. Also, you do have Iconic Silver, which we see in about every Ford vehicle. Iconic Silver, as well as the black, are two colors that are going to also be one of the four colors available in the base trim. And then you also, here's another uh, color that costs you $3.95, and that's that Rapid Red uh, color, so you can see what that looks like. And then you can also, uh, the next color, Carbonized Gray, uh, is also a color that is available in the base trim. And then another uh, color here, Cactus Gray, that's getting a lot of talk online as well. So it's a, a cool little color there that if you're wanting, I think there's some vehicles driving around in that color. Uh, so a lot of people are seeing some uh, different clips of that. And then you do have your Oxford White, another color that's available in the base as well as the Big Ben. So those are your, uh, those are your exterior colors. If you scroll on down, uh, going go down the interior, we'll flip through some of this for a second. You're going to have two different uh, uh, shots for your interior. You're going to have one of the seats and then one of the dash. You can kind of see what that's going to look like. So uh, you can see the two different color interiors available for you. You have that ebony and they're calling it brown. Order Guide is actually calling it roast. That's what they're calling it. So you can kind of see the black and that brown combination uh, kind of together. And then your other option there is going to be your navy pier. So navy pier uh, color there. Uh, so it looks real sharp uh, on the vehicle here and as you can see it's going to we're going to cover interior in just a little bit but it's going to give you your leather interior here as your only option there so uh, let's scroll back up let's go ahead and uh, first talk about some safety features um, on the vehicle that are what some things that are, are standard now if you've watched any of my other videos there's not any added safety features uh, in this uh, trim actually there is one it has to do with reverse sensing system but other than that uh, all the other safety features are the same as they were on the base and the Big Ben, nothing added. So if you've watched those videos, you can go ahead and move ahead to the next timestamp if you'd like to. But let's go ahead and cover these for those that have not watched those other videos. So safety, you will have advanced track with roll stability control. So advanced track helps you keep you on your intended path and help you from not rolling the vehicle over. Uh, so you're going to have that dual stage uh, airbags for the driver and front passenger. So it deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. We'll have sensors on those seats to dictate that. You will have a driver knee airbag as well. So it'll help protect the driver from any front collision with that steering column there. Front side uh, impact airbags. So it'll be uh, airbags on the side of those front seats. So if you have a side collision, they're going to deploy to help protect the, the, those, the driver and front passenger from those side collisions. Safety canopy airbag that deploys down from the roof. Uh, we'll have a sensor on that, so if the vehicle rolls over, it's going to automatically deploy those airbags to protect those from that breaking glass if they end up being rolling over on its side there. 
You will have rear seat child locks, so you can lock those doors in the back so the kids can't open those when you're stopped or maybe uh, the vehicle's running uh, or you just don't want them to, to jump out of the vehicle. Uh, you will have those uh, ch child safety locks. Latch system, that stands for lower anchors and tethers for children. Uh, so that's uh, for those outbound seats, uh, those little um, brackets down in the seat, so that way you can securely fasten those booster seats down there using those straps, uh, a little more secure than your shoulder harnesses uh, to keep those car seats in there. SOS post-crash alert system that honks the horns, flash the lights if you're in an accident off the side of the road, uh, so that way people can come to your safety. Uh, also comes with 911 assist. I think I forgot that actually in the first two videos. Um, it's actually part of the uh, sync technology, but 911 assist also, if you have your phone Bluetooth in, you can be able to call 911 directly. In fact, if you get an accident, it'll actually call 911 and they'll see if you answer. So that way, if you get unconscious, it's going to automatically call them. So, pretty good system there. Now, let's talk about the Copilot 360. So, even in the base, uh, or in the Bronco two-door and four-door, there's some of these features as part of the Copilot 360 were not standard on their features on the, even the base, whereas on the Bronco Sport, these features are going to be standard equipment. Uh, so Ford Copilot 360 is a great feature. It includes your auto high beams, which means just, uh, your high beams will come on automatically if it's dark enough outside. If you're in the city lights or somebody approaches you, it's going to automatically turn them off. Um, and that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting settings screen. Bliss, that's a blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to, it's going to sense that. It's going to tell you by a series of tones that you shouldn't back up. It's going to put a message on the dash telling you that there's someone in your uh, blind spot there and put a, a light in one of the mirrors. So it depends on what side they're, they're at located. It's going to put that light in the corner of that mirror as well. Lane keeping system, so this is, includes your uh, aid system, your alert system, and your driver alert as well. So if uh, you're driving along and you have it on the alert system, so if you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering and we'll let you know you've left your lane. If you have it on the aid system, it's going to, when it gets over to those lines, it's going to try to bring you back in. So it will go to the lines, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it is really a, it's a way to assist you uh, in staying more alert, uh, and that way you just have that on. And that could be on if you don't have to have your cruise on for that to be activated and you can it'll actually be work as long as you can have it engaged even driving in the city pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking so if there's a car going much slower than you or even stopped and you're not paying attention it's going to try to warn you with a series of tones and a message on your dash or on your uh, your instrument class panel there and then also if you don't brake it's going to use automatic emergency braking to help brake the vehicle and at least lessen the severity of that accident especially depends on your speed it may not be able to stop you in time if you're not paying attention rear view camera and reverse sensing is now on the outer banks is going to be available as part of this so um, uh, rear view camera is part of the copilot 360 uh, I threw in the reverse sensing uh, I think on the order guide they actually threw in three features as part of the copilot 360 and uh, there are three features that are now standard equipment a couple uh, one of them I put in here with the safety and that's reverse sensing so as you're backing up you're going to be able to see behind you in that 8 inch touchscreen, as well as if you get too close to anything it's going to start beeping and alerting you that you're getting closer and close to somebody. Post collision braking is also a great feature we've been seeing in some of the Ford vehicles in the last couple of years. Uh, so what that's going to do is it's going to break the vehicle at, once you've had that accident. So there's situations where you maybe have that accident and maybe you're not able to keep your foot on the brake because of the accident and being injured. And so it's going to break the vehicle so it doesn't keep wandering forward. Uh, I had a, uh, someone that uh, messaged on one of my videos that you know reminded me of that. Uh, it doesn't just bring you to complete stop if, if maybe you didn't have your foot on the brake. It's for those situations like that where it keeps you know creeping forward and rolling forward. E-Pass, electronic power assist steering. So a great way uh, to be able to uh, turn that steering wheel so it's electronic powered instead of gas powered. Uh, so um, real nice and easy to be able to turn the steering wheel using that system. You will have four wheel disc brakes with ABS. You also have electric parking brake with auto hold. So auto hold means there's a button, press the button and it will hold your brake. So if maybe if you've been in a stoplight for a little a bit of a time and you wanna rest your foot, you can hit that auto hold, take your foot off the brake. Uh, also, you're going to get secure lock, passive, and a theft system, and perimeter alarm, which means uh, if somebody breaks through the glass, gets in the perimeter of the vehicle, it's going to uh, set off an alarm, 
uh, if you have the vehicle locked. So a uh, great system and how that all works. So uh, I go over the safety features because there's a lot of the great safety features that help uh, make this a great Ford vehicle, safe vehicle. Uh, I'm proud to have several Ford vehicles because uh, I love all the safety precautions that Ford puts into their vehicles to make sure they're the safest vehicles on the road and they've done the same thing with the Bronco Sport. Now let's move on to the mechanical features uh, and we can see that here when we uh, go on to the, the website here on Ford's website. If you scroll down a little bit you have exterior, interior and then you have what they, they have it in here as powertrain. Uh, so when you sc scroll on down, you can see the engine that's available here. So you do have the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop. As you notice, it is the only engine available on the Outer Banks. Uh, so you're going to have that 1.5 liter, same engine that we did see in the Escape. So this is on the Escape platform. It does get the same uh, engine on the for, uh, as you do with the Escape. So 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, of course, standard engine on the base, Big Ben, and Outer Banks there, if you click on to the little I there. Also, it's going to come with an 8-speed automatic transmission, so we did see that 8-speed in the edge, uh, and then, of course, the court and escape as well, so it's geared out nicely to be able to make that engine perform really well. And again, you know, people, are, they're still kind of looking at the Outer Banks as being someone that's going to drive this daily, wants uh, a little more luxurious ride, but still going to have some capabilities to be able to go off-road on the weekend if you need to take this camping or out, uh, you know, want to go hiking or anything like that. Uh, you will, of course, have 4x4 will be included, so all of them will be 4x4. They will come with the terrain management system with the GOAT modes. GOAT stands for Go Over Any Type Terrain, and that's what that Ford uh, acronym is. It comes with five GOAT modes, so you're going to have a normal, an eco, a sport, a slippery, and sand. So those are your GOAT modes there for uh, this uh, system here on the for, on the, for the, big, the outer banks. Sorry. Uh, we'll also come with active grill shutters, so they'll open and close depending on uh, your speed. And uh, that it automatically does it for you. You don't have to activate it at all. When you go a little bit faster, it closes them up for a little bit more aerodynamics. But when they go a little bit slower and you need more air to come into the vehicle uh, to help the engine perform better, it'll open those up. Also, will come with hill start assist, so on those hills, helps you be able to transition from the brake to the gas if you're starting on a hill. Also, you're going to have electric traction control, so electronic traction control, and you're going to also have front and rear stabilizer bars. So it will be a very uh, good vehicle, and it will uh, ha ha handle everything and give you great traction uh, having the front and rear stabilizer bar for the vehicle. So that's all the mechanical things that I wanted to cover uh, in this part. Let's go ahead now and go and move on to the exterior features that are going to be standard. So we're going to scroll back up here to the exterior features. And as we cover some of these, we're going to look at these images. I'll give you some screenshots of this vehicle here, a uh, little closer up shot so you can see what it's going to look like as we talk more about the exterior here. So first of all, you're going to have the black uh, grill there with the Bronco white lettering. So it is uh, changing the wording from carbonized black to uh, or from carbon black to black. It's mentioned in an order guide. It's taken out that word carbon, so it's a link. It's a little bit darker black here with the white Bronco wording there. You also notice LED headlights, LED fog lights, and now with the Outer Banks, you're going to get LED signature lighting. And those are little lights that come from those headlights in towards the Bronco wording. It's going to make it look a lot, a lot better there on the front, but so much brighter as well, uh, especially if you want to take this off road. So you're going to have nice LED signature lighting there. Configurable daytime running lights as well, as look like we've seen on the base and the big bend. Now you're going to have rain sensing wipers as, as standard equipment on the Outer Banks. So if you have one of those auto settings on your wipers, they're going to come on automatically when it starts to rain. So I love rain sensing wipers. Wish I had it on my truck. I do have it on my car. Uh, rain sensing wipers is a great feature. Also, you're going to get windshield wiper de-icers as standard equipment. So it'll help def defrost those uh, wipers when you know your windshield defrosts all that ice and snow and such off of it. Sometimes those wipers tend to freeze up. That'll help them perform a little bit better for you. Now for your, uh, uh, so there is still some molded in black around the vehicle and I mentioned this on the, the base in Big Ben and that's for durability for rocks and such that might get kicked up. So you're going to see down there in the lower rocker molding is going to be that molded in black. It's more durable. It'll be able to take those rocks without chipping any paint as well as the fenders that go, uh, the kind of kind of go around the fenders too to protect those from rocks getting kicked up. So you're going to still see some black accents on there. The front bottom part on the, the bumper you're going to see that as well. Uh, so that lower body cladding is going to be that way too on the, the back bumper and the front bumper. Uh, 
Uh, now you are going to get body color door handles now though. Uh, so but you notice that in this picture, this is that the white which when we left it on, body color door handles there. So that kind of dresses it up a little bit more. Um, and then your mirrors will be black. So you have black mirror caps. Uh, they will be power heated mirrors uh, as well. Same mirror as we did see with the um, the uh, Big Ben. So you're gonna see you have that power heated mirrors there with the black finish on the outside of those mirrors uh, there too. Now let's look at the, uh, around the windows and the belt line are gonna be black. So you're gonna see that, that same features we did see with the base and the Big Ben. It gives you kind of more of a black look throughout there between that the roof line and the rest of the the belt line there so give it a nice black finish through there but now when you go up to the outer banks you're going to have a black a shadow black painted roof so a real nice uh, shadow black painted roof they will all have that so you'll notice this white vehicle has the black roof uh, if you have a black vehicle it's going to match up um, this with the shadow black so that would actually give it an all black vehicle if you have that um, still uh, like you would have from the other models uh, but in this case no matter what color you change it to you're gonna have a, a shadow black painted roof up there black roof rails on it just like you're seeing with that uh, particular uh, this angle right here so you're still gonna have that on the vehicle too easy fuel capless filler door is also gonna be standard equipment it has been on all the other vehicles so no cap to worry about leaving getting your hands dirty or anything like that uh, also on this, you're going to have your intelligent access with the keypad entry. Uh, so you're going to be able to just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle, allow you to get in. It even has push button start inside, so you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start the vehicle, which is a really nice uh, feature to have. Also look at the wheels. You have an 18 inch machine face alloy ebony painted wheel. So Real sharp looking wheel, a little bit of different design than we saw as the optional wheel for the Big Ben. So unique wheel uh, dedicated to each trim. Uh, so that's a really, I think it's a nice looking wheel on this particular vehicle. Uh, looks sharp on it uh, right there. Uh, speaking of that, you will see all season tires will be standard equipment and you will have a mini spare uh, for the vehicle. Uh, also have tire pressure monitoring system to go along with all those uh, wheel and tire combinations. Even your spare tire will have that too. Privacy glass on the back windows as well as the back glass. So that way it gives you uh, a little bit more uh, darker, keeps a little bit cooler for those in the rear seat. Uh, also keeps a little bit of privacy for anything you might have in the rear cargo area. So if we move to the rear shots here, so I can get you, there you go, a rear shot there. So you can see it does have your LED tail lights here. Also it's gonna have a manual flip uh, glass or lift gate I mean, with a flip glass as well with the rear wiper on the back. So. We've seen that same lift gate on any of the others. Not a, don't see a power lift gate option uh, yet here. So uh, you're going to have uh, that same type of lift gate system as we did see in the others. You will have a body, uh, bottle opener on in the rear hatch. Hopefully you get a good image there. I did find one on Ford's website uh, how, where they, they put that. So that way you can open up those bottles if you're out camping, hiking, that kind of thing. Um, rubberized uh, cargo floor as well as seat backs. Uh, so you're going to have that in the vehicle. We did see that with the Big Ben carrying on over on, on up with those features. A lot of times on Ford's vehicles, when the, you go from one trim to the next and you move up like that, uh, it does take some of the features from the previous trim and they just add some other features to the next trim. Uh, so that did roll over from the Big Ben as well as the cargo tie down carabiner hooks and loops. So there's an image there again from Ford's website that's labeled what those look like. So those will be able to allow you to hook some things into there, keeping those in place and not moving around in your cargo area. Also 110 outlet. So they mentioned that on the interior features, but I want to put it on the rear cargo area, which is, is on the inside, but I like to put it on the outside here because when I do my walk arounds, I kind of go around in that format. And so in the rear cargo area back there, you're going to have 110 outlet, as you can see, positioned on the side. Not sure if there's going to be one behind any kind of console. Didn't see any clips for that or inside the vehicle cargo area. It doesn't uh, list where it's located on the order guide. I did see the clip of this hooks where you can see the 110 outlet back there in the rear cargo area. And also forgot to mention with the intelligent access, you also have remote start standard equipment as well. So that way you can remote start the vehicle using that remote. So now that's all exterior features. They're standard. Uh, let's go ahead and move inside. So we're gonna scroll on down to these clips here. Again, I only have two pictures, but if you scroll down just a little bit until you get to where you can get that inch here uh, uh, to come up, my laptop, it takes a little bit there. But there is uh, where you can enlarge each of those pictures, but also there's a 360. So you can take that and you can move that around to see a little bit more if you want to of 
uh, down in the console if you need to from more up, up, uh, view come looking down on it. So we'll do that on some areas <clears throat> of this video here when we talk about the interior features. Now you're going to have carpeted flooring just like we did with the base and the big bin. <clears throat> you will have floor mats so instead of just having them for the front row you're going to also have them for the back row. Uh, you will have the Bronco Sport logo just on the front uh, row um, floor mats though. Your seat. It is a sport contour front bucket seats with a console here. Again, leather seats will be standard equipment with mini perforations is what they're saying. So I'll give you a clip from overview there so you can see what that looks like. I'm looking down on those seats a little bit better. Uh, you will have eight-way power driver seats. So that was an optional equipment on the Big Ben. Standard equipment now on the Outer Banks. So eight-way power driver seat will include power lumbar. You will have a six-way power passenger seat. First time we've ever seen, we haven't seen a passenger power seat on the Big Ben, even as an option, uh, you can, you'll get that here with this. Heated front seats as well, so the driver front passenger will get heated seats along with those leather seats. And then looking at the back seats, you're going to have a, a second row 60-40 fold flat seat with an armrest. So you can see that armrest there. In the Big Ben, it didn't actually show you the armrest. It had that two with two cup holders and then armrest, so you pull that down if there's no one sitting in the middle. And you can put cups, uh, different beverages in those two cup holders or and just be able to put your arm on there if you want to. Seat backs will have the uh, zipper pockets with the mole strap system. So you can put different carabiner hooks on those like you're seeing in this video clip here. Uh, so uh, real nice being able to do that. You can also see those cushions can flip up. So I'm going to give you a clip from a video where you can see where they flipped up that and they stored things underneath that seat. Uh, so as you can see, the seat won't fold completely flat down. Um, but allows you to be able to store some things underneath that seat. Um, so pretty cool how that all works. You will have power locks with uh, auto unlock and uh, lock, which means once you start going, it's going to lock the, those doors for you. And then when you shut the vehicle off, it'll unlock it. <clears throat> so you, can, uh, you won't have to uh, try to unlock the vehicle. Power windows. When you go to the Outer Banks, you will get uh, auto one touch for both of the front windows this time instead of just a driver's window. So you just press it hard. They'll go down automatically. Uh, of course, power windows in the back uh, windows, they do not have the one touch feature uh, back there. Steering wheel, leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So you're gonna get a leather and heated steering wheel when you go to the uh, Outer Banks as uh, standard equipment. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So have adjustment, you pull that, it'll go up and down, forward and back, and get it just any, any spot you need to. On the steering wheel, you'll have audio controls, you'll have cruise control, so cruise control standard equipment, just like in the base and the Big Ben, and then you're going to see that Bronco logo sitting right there on that the uh, steering wheel, uh, very prominent. We'll get upgraded in the instrument panel itself from the 4.2 to a 6.5 inch digital screen on the instrument panel. So looks real sharp, a little bit bigger. Uh, cluster there, it goes a little bit more into the your speedometer and your tack there, so you can see uh, how uh, and how that looks. So it's a great uh, little screen there. Uh, they've had that same screen on some of the other Ford vehicles, uh, so it looks real sharp there. Uh, you will have push button start as we mentioned. It's located just to that opening there, just to the left of that opening below one of the vents. So you just, uh, of course, be able to push it to start it. You will have the rotary gear shift and dial. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are two, so you can be able to uh, do, of course, shift that into, into a gear. And then you will have dual zone auto climate control. So we saw electric autom automatic temperature control for the Big Ben. Now you have dual zone, so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures. You still have the rear vents behind the console for those in the rear seat. Auto dimming rear view mirror. So uh, hard to see it in that screen, but you can see that mirror does not have a lever under it. So automatically dims that mirror. The cars come up behind you with those bright lights. It's going to dim the mirror automatically for you. Audio controls. You will have AM FM stereo with six speakers. You will have Sirius XM satellite radio, six months for free. Uh, we'll come with a Sync 3 with the 8 inch touchscreen. This is where I mentioned the 911 Assist, the App Link, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all those features there included with that Sync system. And we'll get into some others in just a little bit. <clears throat> also, you're going to get ambient lighting as standard equipment. Uh, so we haven't really seen too much of that late uh, up to this point. So ambient lighting should light up the footwells. Doesn't mean, mention if it's just going to be ice blue or not, or if you have to be able to change the colors. Uh, typically, they will say if it's just like in the trucks, it's just ice blue. Uh, then it'll it'll mention that. Since it doesn't mention it, I assuming you'll have different colors to choose from for the ambient lighting. Usually, adjust that in your um, Sync 3 touchscreen. 
smart USB ports, and you have a media hub up here that's right below the temperature control. You're going to have a USB Type A, USB Type C, and a PowerPoint as you see right in there. Uh, also been told that you, uh, according to the order guide, you're going to have a smart USB uh, Type A and Type C inside the center console as well. So four ways, actually five ways to be able to power different devices as well as the 110 outlet in the back. So plenty of ways to connect there. Speaking of connecting, Ford Pass Connect is also standard equipment. So that's where you can stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app where you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, unlock lock your vehicle, schedule remote start, remote start times, as well as find your vehicle. And all your rewards points will be in that app. So you definitely want to go in there because when you first purchase your Bronco Sport, you're going to get enough points to be able to buy any accessories that you want to or use it for two free oil changes and tire rotations as well. So uh, great in how all that works. That's all the standard equipment I want to cover. Kind of ran through it a little bit faster than I did in some of my other videos because I noticed the videos are going kind of long. So uh, hopefully uh, I didn't go too fast where you can uh, keep up. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of great equipment there on the, the Bronco uh, Sport with the Outer Banks trim here. Now we're going to scroll down and talk about options and or different packages first in your options and what's really different on the way they do it on here than they do some of the other vehicles is um, typically they'd have you know extra year you know the packages will be up there before you get to the extra year features but the way they're doing it on the bronco sport is you got to scroll clear down past through equipment groups where it talks about the outer banks and some of those features and then actually you can view features right there as well it looks like and then you scroll down you do see the packages there so let's talk about the outer banks package first uh, Outer Bank package is $15.95, as you can see right there, uh, and that's going to give you about four features. Now, we did see some of these features, uh, two of them, as part as available in the Big Ben package, uh, is also included in the Outer Banks. This in here is going to have, as you can see through that, that view that you see in that image right there, it's going to get you the Power Moonroof. So Power Moonroof allows that moonroof to open, should have a manual sunshade there, and be able to see through uh, the roof. Uh, that looks real nice. Also, uh, with this, you're going to get um, two other features, uh, or no, three other features, sorry. Two have to do with the audio, and that is your Beano audio sound system with now 10 speakers and a subwoofer. So, Beano audio, great sound. Ford's gone to uh, working with Bang & Olufsen there. Also going to give you HD radio capabilities uh, with the audio sound system there. And down in the Media Hub, you also get a wireless charging pad. Again, we did see that as part of the Big Ben package, also going to be included in this Outer Banks package. So $15.95 for that package. A lot of that goes to the moonroof. Moonroof usually is about a $1,400 option by itself, um, maybe about $1,000 for, I guess, the single panel uh, moonroof. Uh, going to the Bang & Olufsen as well as a wireless charging pad, uh, not a bad value there uh, for what you're getting on that package there. Now the next package beside that is your Class 2 trailer tow package with trailer sway control. So it is going to give you your, your hitch, your wiring that goes along with that. Uh, also, it's going to give you a full size spare for $495. So that does uh, allow you, especially if you're going to tow anything, uh, you can get that trailer tow hitch. There are bike racks that you can put uh, on the in there too. So if you want to uh, get a bike rack that attaches to that hitch, uh, you would need to, of course, get uh, order this package on there. Just looks so much better. It's integrated in uh, below that bumper. If you try to order it afterwards, it actually kicks it down a little bit lower. So I would suggest if you ever really think about doing that, go ahead and have the factory do it for you. It's going to look so much better on the vehicle. Let's talk about the Ford Copilot 360 Assist. And this, they're saying Assist 2.0 there. So this is great. It's a really nice system here because it's going to include your adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. Uh, so what's great about this is adaptive cruise means if you want to instead of using traditional cruise, you can use adaptive cruise. If you come up behind somebody they're going slower than you, it'll slow you down to their, go to their speed. Even if they come to complete stop and then they take off, you won't have to hit your brake or your gas to, to be able to do that. It's going to control that. And it's going to keep you in the center of your lane. So this the lane centering is activated with your cruise control, unlike lane keeping system. And so it's going to keep you, it's not going to wait for you to get to the lines or just alert you. It's actually going to work on keeping you in the center of the lane, keeping you away from the side of those lines there. So love that. Also, you're going to get evasive steering assist. So evasive steering assist will help you avoid any accident if you can't stop in time and you're going to hit them and you can, if you want to steer, try to steer around them, it's going to help with assisting with the steering, make it a little bit easier to turn that steering wheel. Evasive steering assist as well as adaptive cruise are things you have to activate. You can also deactivate those. 
voice activated navigation system. So that's going to be included in this too. So now you'll have that, you've got that eight inch touch screen. Now you have the voice activated navigation system with the pencil to zoom capabilities in there. Uh, so great, comes with the Sirius XM traffic and traveling as well. And I think this package is a great value here because navigation alone is usually about 795. And then they're actually throwing in some a great uh, feature with adaptive cruise. Lane centering is really cool, uh, a great safety feature. So I think it's a good value package here that Ford is providing at 795 that you might want to think about ordering on your vehicle. Uh, now let's talk about a couple standalone options for the uh, that you can get from the factory uh, and the cargo management system is one of them. For 110 you can get a cargo management system. So if we scroll back up here to next year you can see uh, what that looks like. That is a shelf so it is a similar material as, as the bottom as well as the seat backs there and you can move that shelf up and down so you can kind of flip that. As you can see it has a hinge so you can flip it forward put some taller stuff in there, but you can organize your cargo that way or use it as like a little table is what they've called. They mentioned it's a shelf divider and table. So that way you can kind of leave, use it as that way if you want to and be able to like eat your lunch or something like that on there. So real nice uh, divider and how that works right there. Also, you can get engine block heater. So we see that available on all Ford vehicles, $100 for that option. So if you live in a cold weather state, plan on keeping your Bronco Sport outside. It'll help keep it a little bit warmer in the winter time. So it starts a little bit better. Also, front license plate bracket. It's a no charge option. If you live in a state that doesn't require a front tag, you would have to order this as an optional equipment, but it, again, no charge option. Um, the dealer actually would come with the vehicle. Dealership would install it at no charge. Uh, if you get it afterwards, you'd have to probably get, you know, pay them to put it in as well as to buy the uh, license plate bracket. So that's, again, a good value if you plan on putting something on the front of it. So uh, those are your factory options. Let's talk about some accessories and really the accessories in the, the, in the next section are things that are also, I mentioned, same features as the Big Ben and the base. So no different on these. Uh, so if you've watched those, you, if you want to go ahead and go to the ending, I do have some uh, great uh, recap at the ending if you want to watch that. But let's talk about these accessories. Uh, you get floor liners are available, 160 for the floor liners. I think on here it mentioned it as being uh, 200. Uh, the reason they mention that is that it comes with the carpeted mats. Uh, so I'm not sure how that worked because on the base in Big Ben you don't get carpeted mats in the back. But so the floor liners for 200, you're supposed to get the carpet mats in the back. But since they're already included in the outer banks, I would assuming uh, that it's not, they're not going to charge you 200. So uh, order guide says it's 160 for the floor liners, all weather floor liners. You can see in that image there, I'll have the Bronco Sport in there too, so it looks real sharp on the, in the inside the vehicle. You can throw those in. Cargo mat. Cargo mat can be uh, thrown in the back. Um, not sure. It's 130 uh, for that option. Um, looks like, according to this, it looks like the same image as they show you as the rear cargo area with the rubberized flooring. So uh, I'm not sure. I, I assume it's just an extra mat that goes on there, almost the same type of material. But the uh, benefit of it is if you want to be able to clean that out, you can bring, pull that, that mat out easily to be able to clean it out instead of having to try to uh, clean out the cargo area. So it could be a, a nice benefit to someone if they want to see that as a great convenience. Also the splash guards. Spl spl splash guards are a late availability is what they're calling it. So they may not be available at launch. Splash guards uh, would be able to put on the uh, your vehicle. So you can see an image of the splash guard there, what it looks like. Uh, so 220 to put those on your vehicle, especially if you live on dirt roads, could be a great uh, asset to the vehicle. So that way it won't kick up as many rocks on the side of your vehicle. Let's call, let's talk about some dealer installed options. And what this means on these options here is that you would order them from the factory. The factory would ship it to the dealership usually before your vehicle gets there and the dealership would install them. Some of them, they just need to be put in the vehicle. Uh, so the dealership would make sure they're in your vehicle at delivery. Um, so a couple of them here, one of them is a center console vault. So going back to the interior here, uh, that's where it's going to be a lockable console. Uh, so that way you can see for 338, you can have that, uh, especially if you know, you live, uh, you know, if you're going to go camping a lot or whatever, and you may want to leave your windows rolled down or something to keep it cool in there, uh, then you can have that console vault. Uh, as you can see, there. not really just showing the console there, but it should be a lockable console vault that you can put different valuables in there. Roof rack crossbars. So you will have the side rails. If you want the crossbars, uh, that is an option there for you. It's, uh, it's saying it's an on-road um, crossbars there. So move on up to the exterior. You can see that, what it looks like on the vehicle. So if you click that to add that to the vehicle, 
then it's going to go ahead and show you what that's going to look like on the vehicle um, as you can see there so it sticks up a little bit for you uh, so you can put organize your luggage up there plus if you add any uh, aftermarket uh, racks on them usually they do require you to have the crossbars to be able to attach those to like ski racks or any other luggage racks uh, that you might want to put your stuff up there uh, a lot of times you'll need those crossbars uh, for that uh, there are a couple kits here and one of them is an on-road uh, assistance kit so it's $59 for that um, and that kit there uh, usually is like any like if you're on the side of the road or something like that so they have a, an on-road and an off-road assistance kit the off-road is $179 don't have any information on what's included in these kits yet uh, so I'm not exactly sure that again this is a late availability option here so we don't have any information on exactly what's included in that I'm assuming like you know you can put some uh, markers out so people can see that you're on the side of the road maybe flares and that kind of thing uh, for if you're off the road there um, and then there is a fender flare kit there's a one and a two same price on both $4.99 so two, two different flender ki uh, kits uh, so if you want fender flares to come out op over the, the side a little bit especially if you're mud or you're going off-road uh, then you may want to think about getting these uh, fender kits uh, assuming there's something that can put on yourself uh, pretty easily or that looks like the dealership would install it on these uh, but haven't seen any images on the, that either again late availability so they before probably to ask, doesn't have any information for us yet on what those look like the first aid kit $38 so again you know probably just a simple first aid kit with band-aids gauze that kind of stuff uh, again, if you plan on going hiking, camping, you may need that. Uh, could be a good value to make sure you have in the vehicle. So if you do get injured, uh, then you can take care of some of those uh, minor uh, bumps and bruises uh, with that first aid kit. Into your bike, bike rack. I think this is really cool. Late availability. Do have some images uh, that I found online of the interior bike rack. Uh, so that's a really cool option to be able to add to the vehicle. Especially if you do plan on biking, you don't want to put a bike rack on the back or up on top. Uh, you can put it inside the cargo area. You do have to lay the, the back seats down for that into your bike rack. But for 238, pretty cool. Uh, just probably makes it to where those bikes will stay standing up um, in there. So it keeps them in position. Uh, and then you put the, of course, you take the front tires off as, as you can see with those images there in that video. Liftgate privacy curtain. It is uh, also in late availability, $99 for that option. Um, and uh, that just allows you to be able to change your clothes, especially if you're going hiking, camping, going that trip, you want to change into some other gear. Uh, if you're going biking, all that, changing the bike shorts, whatever it might be, then you can have that privacy curtain to be able to do that. You do have mud flaps. So these are uh, different mud flaps than what they're showing us the splash guards. So I'm assuming they're a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit wider. You do have a front rear. Uh, if you want just the front ones, 339, just the back ones, again, 339. If you want both, uh, save, I mean, actually it's the same price. It's 679, so um, let's just add those two together. So uh, those are your different dealer installed options that are available for you. And as you can see with this, um, really when you go to the, from the base Big Bend and Outer Banks, you're seeing some upgrades in luxury uh, or convenience features as you're seeing there. So just to kind of recap on that, you know, you're getting your body color door handles, you're getting your leather interior, no cloth option on the outer banks. Um, same engine as you're seeing with the Big Ben, uh, but some other comfort features, B&O as being optional for you, and some other features that are standard like the leather heated steering wheel, uh, leather heated front seats, you're getting the body color door handles on the outside, black roof, so if you're wanting that, the impact of that, uh, you'll have to go to Outer Banks to get that black rooftop. Uh, so uh, really uh, uh, cool features here on the Outer Banks uh, version. If this is your daily driver, you want a little more luxury, you want that leather, then this is the trim for you. Uh, so you might consider that. We do have one other we're going to cover. Uh, we're probably not going to cover the first edition since those are all already reserved. Uh, so if you're trying to decide on one is what these videos are for. Uh, so we may cover first edition down the road a little bit, uh, just so uh, people can, uh, are curious to know what's going to be involved there. Um, but the Badlands is what's next. So we're going to cover the Badlands edition. So if you want to go and take your Bronco Sport off-road, do some true off-roading, this vehicle is a, is, can really be capable and do that. Um, Badlands edition might be that. So uh, stick, uh, stay tuned for that video. We're going to try to post that uh, as quick as we can here and get this together. Um, but this, this uh, the Outer Banks is a real nice vehicle. Again, I don't know if I mentioned at the, at the beginning, uh, the pricing on that one it does start at $33,655. I think on here it mentions it at a, at a different price there. And that is before destination and delivery. So 
Uh, and what is cool about this too is if you choose uh, different options, so we actually clicked on the splash guards and the roof rack rails, you saw the change that up there, but also that if you keep scrolling down, you can see what it does for the price. So you do have to scroll down a little bit, but you will get to the price down there. So you can see uh, there's some other accessories you can add, but then, now you're seeing the options you chose. So it gives you a couple of different standard, standard equipment that you had, but also you notice there, it added the splash guards, the roof rack crossbars to our price. Nothing added on the interior. It shows you what some of the major features are that we that are standard. And then down there, you can there's another reserve button, so you can click there to reserve it. Or then you can go here. There's a breakdown of the MSRP. So again, it's saying 32,160, but when you figure in that destination delivery of 1,500, you're at 33,655. And then you can see the monthly payment. Click on that calculator there and then you can adjust and, and change that. So let's say you don't want to put any money down, you change that to zero, you change the term, let's say I want to finance, uh, then you go over here to 72 months for, per se, and you can see how it changes that price to 534, so, uh, and, and how you can change that. If you have a trade-in, and you, you know you already talked to the dealership, you already know the trade-in's maybe worth 10,000, you don't owe anything on it, you know, it takes, takes that price down to 378. So uh, you can really kind of mess with that payment calculator and everything. And you can even, uh, I believe you can e even try to apply for credit here. If you want to, it goes through Ford Credit and that kind of thing. So pretty cool on how that all works right there. And then of course, don't forget you can reserve. Now you can choose us as your dealership. Um, as you can see at the bottom here, uh, our zip code is 67401. Law MacArthur Ford uh, is, uh, just will be the closest dealership if you pick that zip code there. Or if you want to go for, on our website, go to lawmacarthur.com, click on that Bronco page. Uh, if there's a Bronco Sport, you want to make sure you click on it. Uh, we are working on that page now as we start getting more information on the Bronco Sport to have an individual page for that. Click on our uh, URL there for reserving your Bronco Sport. And then you can go ahead and there at that present time, you're going to go ahead and reserve it. And then it should pretty quickly, once the dealership is able to uh, get uh, see that order come in, we look at ours every morning, uh, see what reservations we didn't receive from the day before. And then the dealership actually switches that over for the order. And at that point, you go in there and you would order your vehicle the way you want it to with all the different optional equipment you want and then it sends it over to Ford and starts your build. It even gives you approximate date when your vehicle should be built. So it's pretty cool. We're seeing some people that have already reserved theirs and set up their order that their vehicles are getting built um, within the next couple weeks. So really excited to see these uh, come in for other customers. Uh, as we get those into the dealership, we'll make sure we do videos as well. Want some information about our free shipping? If you don't live close to us, but want to work with a dealership that is dedicated and excited about the Bronco and Bronco Sport as we are, Check us out. We'll do free shipping for you. We do ask you to live within the 48 states. We do max it out at about $1,000. And the way we do that, we're very transparent, is we ask that you finance a vehicle with us. It's that simple. Most people will finance their vehicle, but if you finance with us, the lenders give us enough, enough kickback that we can cover some of that cost for the shipping and have the vehicle delivered right to your door. So uh, it's really kind of fun and enjoyable. We also are throwing in a free Bronco jacket for anybody that's wanting to reserve with us. So we'll, uh, as soon as you uh, put in that reservation, we'll send you out an email to get your jacket size and get that those jackets ordered. We just ordered a bunch uh, just the other day. So we'll get those uh, jackets out to you as soon as we can. Uh, and then also keep you updated on all your Bronco, what's going on with your vehicle. Uh, as it gets ordered, we'll, I'll get you uh, information about when it's going to be starting being built and being shipped uh, to the dealership and keep you updated as this process starts and keeps going. So uh, we're excited about it. We love the Bronco Sport. I think it's going to be a great product for us. Uh, there's a lot of people that liked the older Escape before it became more of a crossover. I went from May being more of an SUV to more of a crossover. Uh, this is going to fit just perfectly for those that want a true SUV uh, in this size. Uh, it's going to be a great vehicle, so we're really excited about it. Hope you are too. Don't forget, if you haven't uh, had a chance yet, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time another video upload to our YouTube channel. Drop your comments down below. I do read those, respond to those. If you have any questions, uh, that's what I'm here for. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Share it to a friend and colleague and let them know this might be a video you want to watch. I really love uh, if you would do that for us. Uh, and then also don't forget you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, 
and Instagram. Uh, so we also are keeping uh, updated news on there as well, as well as different specials going on at the dealership. And yeah, you might want to check us out. We do some cool custom builds. So if you're into some off-road stuff, uh, you should check out some of our uh, F-150 custom builds we do and Super Duty builds uh, that nobody else in the country does except for here at Lama MacArthur. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some information from it. Till the next video, we'll see you later. American made and it's my truck.